you ever found yourself wishing for another hour in the day or another day in the week? It becomes pretty easy to fill up our schedule so much that they're just bursting at the seams and we don't even have time to just sit down and breathe. I can't count how many times I've I've thought that life was all about doing more and achieving more and improving more and I, I find myself running this rat race that never seems to end. And it's almost as if God knew that we would fall into this trap, that we would become human doings and not human beings. And so in Genesis, the Lord actually set aside a period of time for humanity to rest in his presence. And this, this period of time is called the Sabbath. And it's in Mark chapter 2 that Jesus says that the Sabbath was made for humanity, not humanity for the Sabbath. That essentially God knew that we needed a period of time to be restored and re-energized and rejuvenated by him and his presence. That it's important for us to find a period of time during the week to be with the Lord, to get in sync with our creator. For me, this has often been going out to a place like a beach and burying my feet in the sand and reading some Psalms and letting the spirit lead me to a place of rest. One of my mentors, he would put up a hammock out in the woods and he would read God's word and he would take a power nap with Jesus. And sometimes we have to put things down in order to embrace this day of rest. And for some people, this day of rest can't be Sunday. Whether they're, they're working on a Sunday morning or Sunday night, they need to find some other time to be with the one who heals and redeems and speaks good news into our bodies, hearts, minds, and souls. And so it's in the Psalms, and actually Psalm 23, that we're told by David, that the Lord is my shepherd and I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters, which just sounds crazy that someone would have to lead us to green pastures and quiet waters, but sometimes we are so busy so busy that we, we fail to actually have those moments where we're just in God's presence, letting him breathe new life into us and do wonderful things in and through us. And so may you come to see that the Sabbath was made for you. And may you find a time to be with your creator and may you rest. Mm -hmm.